welcome to my channel dr tapati's presentation myself dr tapati vanjade i have started a lecture series on enzymology already i have uploaded three units this is the unit 4 in this unit i am going to discuss about nomenclature and classification of enzyme i am trying to discuss all the topics in a very simple way i hope you will like it let's start the presentation on uh, nomenclature and classification of enzyme as per the standard international union of biochemistry iub which is recently known as international union of biochemistry and molecular biology that is iubmb the name of the enzyme comprises two parts first part is associated with the name of the substrate catalyzed by the enzyme and second part is associated with the type of the reaction catalyzed by that enzyme the second part ends with as suffix you can see as suffix is present at the end of the all types of enzyme you will understand how the name of the enzyme comprises two parts through an example like lactate dehydrogenase enzyme lactate first part is lactate that is associated with the name of the substrate catalyzed by this enzyme which is lactic substrate is lactate now second part that is dehydrogenase dehydrogenase is associated with the dehydrogenation reaction that means the type of the reaction catalyzed by this enzyme is a dehydrogenation reaction so name of the enzyme is lactate dehydrogenase first part is lactate second part is uh, second part is dehydrogenase first part is the name of the substrate and second part is part is the type of the reaction now lactate dehydrogenase enzyme catalyzes the elimination of hydrogen from lactate ion elimination of hydrogen that means dehydrogenation reaction from the lactate ion therefore in this process you can see this backward reaction where lactate is converted to pyruvate by lactate dehydrogenase enzyme so i hope you understand that then how the name of the enzyme comprises two parts name of the substrate and second part is type of the reaction so each enzyme typically has its common name or trivial name which refers to the substrate on which enzyme acts and the reaction that the reaction that it catalyzes with the suffix as examples of enzymes are lactate dehydrogenase glucose oxidase pyruvate decarboxylase etc in case of lactate dehydrogenase already i have mentioned in my previous slide that lactate is the substrate catalyzed by this enzyme and dehydrogenation reaction is carried out by this enzyme so second part is dehydrogenase and a suffix is there is in case of glucose oxidase glucose is the substrate and uh, oxidase enzyme catalyzes oxidation reduction reaction especially one involving o2 as the electron acceptor here also you can see see a is, is present as a suffix now in case of pyruvate decarboxylase pyruvate is the substrate and uh, decarboxylation reaction is carried out by this enzyme that means co2 is released by this enzyme from substrate pyruvate and as is a, as as uh, is present as suffix however there are some trivial names like catalase diastase invertase la uh, la lactase aminase lipase etc which provide very few information very few information about the enzyme 
So here you can see that only one part is present. Two parts are not, two parts are there. So it's very difficult to understand what type of reaction is carried out by this uh, enzyme or what type of substrate is involved in the reaction. So complexity or inconsistency, uh, inconsistency is present in the naming of the enzymes. Due to the growing complexity and inconsistency in the naming of the enzymes, the International Union of Biochemistry, which is recently known as International Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, set up Enzyme Commission, that is EC, to solve this problem. First report of the Enzyme Commission was published in 1961 and provided a systematic approach to naming of enzymes. Recently, they have published details of about 5,000 enzymes. The EC number is made up of four components separated by full stops like EC a dot b dot c dot d the first number a identifies the class of the reaction catalyzed second number that is uh, b stands for subclass it generally contains information about the type of compound or group involved in the reaction third number uh, c stands for sub subclass it further specifies uh, the type of the reaction involved. Fourth number that is D is uh, a serial number that is used to identify the individual enzyme within a sub subclass. As for example, lactate, uh, lactate dehydrogenase, EC number is 111127. First one is for class that is oxido reductase. Second one is subclass that is acting on primary and secondary alcohols. Third one is for sub subclass that is NAD plus as electron acceptor. And fourth part is for specific enzyme within sub subclass. This is the reaction catalyzed by lactate dehydrogenase that is pyruvate to lactate conversion. Initially, uh, six classes of enzymes were present in the EC system. EC1 as oxidoreductase, EC2 as transferases, EC3 for hydrolysis, EC4 for um, lyases, EC5 for isomerases and EC6 for ligases. In August 2018, the International Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology classified these enzymes under a new enzyme class of translocases, that is EC7. So we can say that there are seven main classes of enzymes in the EC system, total seven classes, according to the type of reactions that the enzymes catalyze. You can remember these seven enzymes in shortly, in short as oth lil t O is for oxidoreductase. T is for transferases, H is for hydrolysis, L is for ligases, I is for isomerases, L is for ligases and T is for translocases. First T is for the uh, transferases and second T is for translocases. First L is for ligases and Second L is for ligases. Ligases means lysis. Lysis is occur first, then 
ligase ligation is occur in this way you can remember first l is for lysis which is um, stands for uh, which uh, lyases catalyze the reaction of lysis and uh, second l is for ligases that means ligation is carried out by this type of enzymes in this way you can remember both lil t oxidoreductases transferases hydrolases lyases isomerases ligases and translocases from the name of the enzymes you will highly correlate their mode of action like oxidoreductases catalyze oxidation reduction reactions oxido for oxidation reduction reductases for reduction oxidation reduction oxido reductases in case of transferases mode of action is transfer transfer of functional group transferases transfer of any functional group in case of hydrolases hydrolysis reaction is occurred by those type of enzymes hydrolysis hydrolysis is the mode of action for lyases uh, mode of action is lysis or group removal to form double bond for isomerases isomerization reaction is occurred by those type of enzymes isomerases isomerization ligases ligation of the molecules is occurred by the ligases enzyme ligases enzymes ligases ligation in case of translocases mode of action is translocation reaction so for oxido reductases oxidation reduction reactions for transferases transfer of any functional group for hydrolysis hydrolysis reaction is occur in case of lyases lysis is occur and in case of isomerases isomerases isomerization reaction is carried out by the enzyme ligases ligation of molecules is occur uh, and in case of translocases translocation reaction is carried out by those type of enzymes so remember oth lil t o is for oxidoreductases t is for transferases h is for hydrolases first l is for lyases then i is for isomerases and second l is for ligases and second t is for translocases remember t, first t is for transferases second t is for translocase first translocases first transfer then translocate and first l here in in the oath lil first l is for lyases that means ligation and uh, second l is for Uh, first l is for lyases that means lysis and second l is for ligases that is for ligation first is lysis then ligation like cut and paste lyase then ligase lysis then ligation so in this way you can remember both lil g main seven main classes of enzymes now i am going to discuss about all the seven classes of enzymes one by one first class of the enzyme is ec1 that is oxido reductases oxido is for oxidation and reductases is uh, is for reduction so this uh, this enzyme catalyzes oxidation reduction reactions that means redox reactions in the redox reactions uh, electron donor and acceptor are required examples of oxido reductases are different types of peroxidases reductases dehydrogenases oxidases oxygenases oxygenases and 
hydroxylene now what is redox reaction redox reaction is a type of chemical reaction in which reduction and oxidation uh, occur at at the same time the reduced species um, receives electrons whereas the oxidized species loses electrons now no first of all oxidation in short you can remember it as oil oil that means oxidation is loss of electrons oil oil means oxidation is loss of electrons whereas for reduction process you can remember it as a reek that means reduction is gain of electrons r is for uh, r is uh, for reduction i is for ease and r is uh, g is for gain whereas for oil o is for oxidation i is ease whereas for l it is loss so in case of oxidation loss of electrons is occurred whereas in case of reduction gain of electrons is occurred in the oxidation process gain of oxygen is also found uh, whereas loss of hydrogen is occurred in the oxidation process so in the oxidation process loss of electrons gain of oxygen and loss of hydrogen these uh, these three types of uh, incidences may be occurred now in case of reduction along with the gain of electrons you will find loss of oxygen and gain of hydrogen so reduction uh, in short you can remember it as rig that means reduction is gain of electrons then uh, you can find in the, in the reduction process a loss of oxygen may be occurred or gain of hydrogen is also occurred in, in the reduction process this is the general scheme of a reaction catalyzed by oxido reductase if a and b are substrates then c and d are products in this reaction if a is reduced then simultaneously b will be oxidized so this is a redox reaction example of an oxido reductase enzyme is alcohol dehydrogenase alcohol dehydrogenase catalyzes conversion of ethyl alcohol to acetaldehyde in this process you can see oh group that means alcohol group is converted to aldehyde group that is cho that means here oxidation uh, oxidation is occurred whereas uh, in in case of nad plus nad plus is converted to nadh that means hydrogen addition is there that means nad plus is reduced here you can see uh, oxidation and reduction both are occur simultaneously so uh, this enzyme is coming under the oxido reductase group second example of an oxido reductase is lactate dehydrogenase lactate dehydrogenase enzyme catalyzes conversion of uh, pyruvate to lactate pyruvate reduced to lactate because you see this acetone group is converted to the alcoholic group c double bond o is converted to oh group therefore here you can uh, uh, you can see here reduction is occurred whereas nadh is converted to nad plus that means here oxidation is occurred oxidation here uh by the conversion of nadh to nad plus whereas for a reduction is occurred uh, in the reaction of pyruvate to lactate so both uh, re reduction and uh, oxidation and reduction are occurred uh, by lactate dehydrogenase therefore it is coming under the oxido reductase group let's know about function of transferases they catalyze 
transfer of any functional group functional group such as methyl acetyl phosphate carboxyl etc except hydrogen atom from one substrate to another this is a common equation for transferase enzyme in this process ax is a substrate and b is also a substrate and products are a plus bx in this case x is a functional group attached with a it is transferred by transferase enzyme to b substrate and therefore bx is produced example of transferase enzyme is alanine transaminase this is a equation catalyzed by alanine transaminase reaction in this enzymatic reaction l alanine is a substrate and alpha keto glutarase is also a substrate products are pyruvate and l glutamate in this process amino group is the functional group present in the alanine this amino group is transferred by transferase alanine transferase transaminase enzyme to alpha keto glutarate and alpha glutamate is formed along with pyruvate EC3 stands for hydrolases they are also called hydrolytic enzymes they use water in presence of water this rea uh, this reaction is carried out they use water to break a chemical bond that may be ester or glycosidic or peptide in order to divide a large molecule into two smaller ones this is a common reaction catalyzed by hydrolases if ab is a substrate in presence of water it will convert it to ah and boh by hydrolase enzyme example of hydrolase enzyme is maltase maltase breaks bonding between two glucose present in maltose and uh, converted to it will convert it to uh, um, two glucose molecules in this process after hydrolysis you know that uh, water after hydrolysis of water h plus ion and oh minus ion is produced so in this process hydrogen ion will attach with this o molecule and oh molecule will attach with this carbon molecule this carbon and two glucose molecules are formed ec4 or lyases break chemical bonds without without addition of water molecule they catalyze addition or removal of functional group to form double bond remember this double bond lyase produces double bond in a reaction process this is a common equation for lyase catalyzed reaction in this case uh, in this case ab double bond is formed and xy is released from this compound example of lyase enzyme is pyruvate decarboxylase pyruvate decarboxylase enzyme converts pyruvate to acetaldehyde and carbon dioxide you can see that in carbon dioxide double bond is present 
so remember um, lyase catalyzed reaction is associated associated with the formation of double bond isomerase is catalyzed isomerization reaction in the process of isomerization structural changes occur only structural changes occur within a single molecule intramolecular transfer of group is occur in case of isomerase enzyme catalyzed reaction this is a common equation for this uh, enzyme catalyzed reaction here you can say see that x is transferred to b and y is transferred to transferred to uh, a so interchange is occurred in this process that means isomerization is occurred by isomerase enzyme example of isomerase enzyme is phosphoglycerolutase it catalyzes conversion of 3 phosphoglycerate to 2 phosphoglycerate in glycolysis pathway here only isomerization reaction is occurred phosphate group is transferred from 3 3 carbon through 2 carbon so conversion is here 3 phosphoglycerate to 2 phosphoglycerate ligase is catalyzed ligation reaction ligase ligation new bonds are formed as two substrates are joined together at the expense of atp hydrolysis so ligase catalyzed reaction in the ligase catalyzed reaction uh, new bonds are formed because two substrates are joined together and in this process atp hydrolysis is occurred if you see the general scheme of the reaction a and two uh, a and b are two substrates they are joined together and formed ab product in this process atp hydrolysis is occurred Exa an example of ligase enzyme is glutamine synthetase glutamine synthetase catalyzes Uh, catalyzes conversion of glutamine and uh, ammonium ion uh, to glutamine in this reaction glutamate and ammonia uh, two substrates are joined together and um, and uh, due to the presence of this enzyme glutamine is produced in this process you can see atp hydrolysis atp hydrolysis is also occur so glutamine synthetase is an example of ligase enzyme ec7 that is first translocases these enzymes catalyze the translocation of hydrons inorganic cations anions and their chelates amino acids and peptides carbohydrates and their derivatives and other compounds Seven uh, EC 7.1 is for hydrons. 7.2 is for inorganic cation trans translocation. 7.3 is for anions and their chelates. 7.4 is for amino acids and peptides translocation. 7.5 is for carbohydrates and their derivatives translocation. And 7.6 is for other compounds translocation reaction. these enzymes catalyze the movement of ions or molecules across membranes or their separation within membranes this form of membrane transport is mainly classified under active tra membrane transport system which is an energy requiring process of pumping molecules and ions across the membranes against a concentration gradient translocation reaction is designated as a transfer transfer from site 1 to site 2 which had previously been designated as in in for site 1 and out for site 2 but in and out can be ambiguous so site 1 and site 2 are appropriate for this type of reaction now examples of translocases first example 
ADP, ATP translocase or adenine nucleotide translocator that is ANT or mitochondrial ADP, ATP carrier. In this translocation reaction, the enzyme exchanges free ATP, free ATP with the free ADP across the inner mitochondrial membrane in case of eukaryotic organisms. Free ADP is transported from the cytoplasm. Here you can see cytoplasm ADP is transported to mitochondrial matrix. Here ADP cytoplasm to ADP matrix. While ATP produced from the oxidative Phosphorylation reaction in, uh, is transported from mitochondrial matrix to cytoplasm, thus providing the cells with its main energy currency that is this ATP. ADP from cytoplasm to ADP uh, to matrix of the mitochondria. Whereas from the matrix of the mitochondria, ATP is transported to cytoplasm. So here exchange is occurred. ADP, ATP exchange is occurred by this type of enzyme. Second example of translocase is phosphate translocase. You can see this reaction here. ATP plus water plus 4H plus side 1 is equal to ADP plus phosphate plus 4H plus side 2. This, uh, this is an ATPase which carries out the dephosphorylation of ATP. Here you can see this reaction. ATP is dephosphorylated into ADP. Simultaneously, it transports H plus. Here you can see 4H plus side 1. Simultaneously, it tra transport H plus to the other side of the membrane. Here you can see side 1 to side 2. H plus ion is transported. In this way, translocation of H plus ion is occurred by phosphate translocase enzyme. Phosphate ion is also, also transported to side 2. Now, uh, Third example is carnitine, acyl carnitine translocase that is CACT. Mitochondrial membrane is not permeable to long chain fatty acids. Therefore, CACT that is carnitine, acyl carnitine translocase enzyme catalyzes both unidirectional transport of carnitine and carnitine acyl carnitine exchange in the inner mitochondrial membrane which allows the import of long chain fatty acids into the mitochondria. So, carnitine, acyl carnitine translocase enzyme helps uh, import of long chain fatty acids into the mitochondria. Fourth example is elongation factor G, that is EFG. It is a GTPS that plays a crucial role in the translocation of tRNAs or transfer RNAs and mRNAs or messenger RNAs during trans, uh, translation reaction translation process by the rib ribosome. Fourth example is translocases present in the gram positive bacteria. Translocases are the most common secretion system in gram positive bacteria. This table is summarizing all the seven classes of enzymes their mode of, mode of action, general scheme of reaction and their examples. First class is EC1 oxidoreductases. They catalyze oxidation reduction reactions. General scheme, you can see A plus B, they are converted to C plus D in this process. Reduction, oxidation, oxidation reduction is occurred. Examples are lactic dehydrogenase, cytochrome oxidase, etc. EC2 transferases catalyze transfer of any functional group. In the general scheme of the reaction, you can see AX plus B, they are converted to A plus 
bx here transfer of x is uh, x is uh, occurred from a to b a, uh, so ax is converted to a whereas b is converted to bx x group is con uh, converted from a x to bx examples are alanine transaminase hexokinase etc hydrolysis ec3 catalyzes hydrolysis reaction in the general scheme of the reaction you can see water molecule is present so after the hydrolysis of ab molecule ah plus b e oh products are produced examples are amylase lipase protease etc fourth enzyme uh, fourth enzyme class is ec4 lysase they catalyze lysis reaction or non group removal to form double bond or non hydro uh, this reaction is non hydrolytic that means in this process water molecule is not present and uh, most importantly double bond is produced by this type of enzymatic reaction examples are carbonic anhydrase aldolase and fumarase isomerase ec5 catalyzes isomerization isomerization reaction here you can see axby is converted to aybx isomerization reaction is occur examples are phospho glucomutase triphosphate isomerase phospho hexose isomerase when the isomerase word is present in the enzyme uh, isomerase is or mutase is also present in the second part of the enzyme now ligase is catalyze ligation of the molecules here you can see a and b is ligated by the ligase enzyme and ab product is produced examples are glutamine synthetase pyruvate carboxylase and dna ligase either synthetase or carboxylase or ligases are present at the second part of the name of the enzyme now seventh enzyme class that is ec7 translocase is they catalyze translocation reaction and this is the general scheme of the reaction here you can see see ax plus b side 1 is equal to b plus x plus b side 2 so b molecule is uh, transported or uh, translocated uh, from side 1 to side 2 here these two lines are for the membrane transport here from side uh, one side of the membrane is uh, side 1 and second side of the membrane is side 2 so b molecule is transported to uh, side 2 from side 1 by the translocase enzyme examples are adp atp translocase phosphate translocase carnitin acyl carnitin translocase elongation factor g etc so all these are about all cl uh, seven classes of enzymes so remember seven main classes of enzymes as ethyl t oxido reductase transferase hydrolase lysase isomerase ligase and translocase thank you very much for watching this video kindly like share and subscribe this channel for further notification don't forget to press the bell icon